of uh, the signs up here as well. So it's, uh, it's good to see uh, this demonstrated uh, today. And we're here to talk about jobs, obviously, but I want to talk first about what's happening across the country with respect to our agenda here at the EPA. You know, it's a time of hope and optimism. Uh, this is a special time of the year, as you know. Uh, I've talked about this quite a bit. Opening day was last week. And, uh, and so as we start the new baseball season, all teams across baseball are very optimistic about winning the World Series. And I, as I kid my friends from Chicago, after all, if the Cubs can win, anybody can. And so, so that hope and optimism that has driven baseball this time of the year, it's driving the economy across the country as well. And, and largely because of the decisions that we're making in the executive branch to get back to common sense regulations and certainty with respect to how we do business. As you know, one of the first things that President Trump did as he came into office was invite the auto alliance, manufacturers, auto dealers to the White House to talk about the importance of auto manufacturing and that sector of our economy. And he followed that up shortly by going to Detroit, Detroit when I joined him there and he made a commitment to the people in Detroit and he made a commitment to the people of this country that we were going to return to due order and due process and making a decision about the midterm evaluation because as you know, the past administration told the American people as the standards were adopted, uh, there would be a midterm evaluation in April of 2018. Uh, the past administration accelerated that by 16 months, made the decision in December, announced it in January, gave the test before the test was supposed to be given. And so the president went to Detroit, Michigan, and said what? We're going to restore a commitment to that process. And thus began the journey from March of last year to April of this year to evaluate the merit uh, the standards that were set, were they appropriate? Uh, as you know, I'm here to announce that those standards that were set, uh, that we are obligated to, to evaluate, we are determining, I am determining that those standards are inappropriate and should be revised. <laughs> this will begin a process uh, that will determine what those standards should be. It is not conclusory in that regard, but what is conclusory is that what took place before, and, and as we look at various issues on how we should set these standards, uh, they need to be updated and evaluated and the standards need to be uh, revised accordingly. As an example, when you think about you know, where we are in this country today and how you know, fuel is being used it's, it, and how cars are being used, and as I think as Peter indicated, I, I think the focus in the past has been on making manufacturers in Detroit, making manufacturers in various parts of the country uh, make cars that people aren't going to buy. And if our, our focus should be on making cars that people purchase actually more efficient, uh, to have arbitrary percentages of our fleet made up of vehicles that aren't going to be purchased, that defeats the very purpose of what the CAFE standards are supposed to, to address. We should be focused upon the, the, the making those cars more efficient because if, if, if not, then individuals stay, will stay in older vehicles, as Peter indicated, and emissions will go up. So. We will get this right going forward uh, this year, but it is very right for us to be here to recognize that what was done in 2011 and 12, as we evaluate it now, is not appropriate going forward, and we're going to get it right uh, as we address it this year. So this is another step. This is another step in the president's regulatory agenda, deregulatory agenda, regulatory certainty. As Peter indicated, a uh, billion dollars in savings with respect to over 22 significant regulatory actions that we've been involved in here at the agency. This president has shown tremendous courage to say to the American people that America is going to be put first. And I think this midterm evaluation, the auto sector, the importance of auto manufacturing to this country, the president again is saying America is going to be put first. And we have nothing to be apologetic about with respect to the progress we've made in reducing emissions as a country. We've led the world with respect to reduction of GHG, uh, mobile sources and otherwise, through technology and innovation. And the auto sector, in my perspective, from my perspective, has been the leader in achieving that through better design and through better technology. And that's, that's exciting and we should celebrate that as a country. So as we go forward to the rest of the year, I just want to say first and foremost to you in the auto sector, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for the difference you've made in behalf of the environment. Thank you for your continued commitment to these principles. And we here at the agency recognize that. We here at the agency are going to consider that and make sure that consumers across this country are not put in a position where they're having to be, you know, buy more expensive cars or cars that uh, don't really truly want to be purchased, creating worse outcomes to the environment. So again, welcome today. And uh, thank you for uh, your attendance today. And I think that we're going to have a couple more folks come up and talk about the midterm evaluation. 
Uh, and I think maybe, perhaps, yeah, come on up and uh, welcome. Thanks so much. Administrator Pruitt, we're pleased to be here today. My name is John Bazella. I'm the president and CEO of Global Automakers. On behalf of our member companies, I want to express my appreciation for the thorough empirical analysis of the 2020, the 2022 to 25 greenhouse gas standards for cars and light trucks. In 2011, when automakers and regulators in Washington and California agreed to significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and improve fuel economy more than a decade into the future, we all agreed to review the bases for that decision.